So everyone with a PC knows that it gets to a certain point when you just need to clean it. The dust builds up so much and you need to get rid of it, but you just don't know how. Am I gonna break something or damage a component? Are all common questions. That's why I made this video, so I can show you how to quickly and simply clean your PC without breaking anything and reducing the risk of damaging your components. So without stalling anymore, let's get straight into the step-by-step -step on how to clean your PC. First things first, you obviously have to turn off your PC as you can obviously not have power on when cleaning your computer, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so as you can see, it's shut down, but this does not mean the computer is fully off. You then have to go to the back and turn it off at the power supply to make sure there's no voltage running through the system. I can't really get an angle, but because my power supply is at the back of my case here, my button for the power supply switch is right here. And find it, just turn the power supply off. And then I'd also recommend just pressing the power button a few times to just make sure that all the current is drained. Then you want to go ahead and unplug all of your cables from the back because we will be moving the computer to a different room and I'll tell you why that's important later on. Now that everything is disconnected, I'm going to move my PC to the other room where I can begin the cleaning process. Just make sure to be very careful when lifting this as this is a very expensive object and you do not want to drop it. And I don't know if it picks up well on camera, but under your PC there is usually some black marks and just dust from the power supply and stuff like that. So I would recommend getting a general cleaning spray and a wipe and just wiping it down as you may as well do it now as it's easy to access. So I've just cleaned that and now that that's done, let's go on to cleaning the PC and I'll show you everything you will need to clean your PC safely. So when cleaning your PC, there's two things I recommend and that is a microfiber cloth. Make sure it's microfiber as you do not want to cause any scratches on your build. Second off is an air duster. This one is electric and I recommend electric ones like this as the cans, they do work, but they can reduce some moisture from the can itself. So to eliminate any of that worry, I would just get an electric one if you can. Now this isn't sponsored, but this electric one is actually pretty cool as it does come with some nozzle attachments for different rates of airflow. And this is really helpful when cleaning your PC as this is the main thing cleaning your computer. And then this cloth just helps to get rid of all the extra stuff that maybe doesn't come off with the duster. You can use this cloth to wipe it all and get off all the dust. Okay, so I took the PC to another room and as you can see, this is from about two months of use. This is, look how dusty this is. This needs a really good clean. This is the front fan intake filter. So obviously this will collect a lot of dust. This is another main dusty area and this is where the power supply shoots out air like that and then the top obviously this is where dust just lays on top so this needs a really good clean and i'll show you guys how to do it and then harder to see on camera there's just general dust build up everywhere inside as you can see dust 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 so this needs a good clean so let's go do it the first thing i recommend is taking off all of the panels your tempered glass back panels just everything that restricts access to the pc as we need full access in my case, I have a like corner glass build, so there's two pieces of glass, but on yours, it might just be this one that you need to take off. On this particular case, I can also just pop off the whole top panel, which is helpful, so I will be taking this off too. And then also the intake panel we will be taking off, and the power supply panel. The good thing about this case is everything just flips off, which is really helpful for cleaning jobs like this. I can get it off. There we go. As you can see. And now everything's off, we can really get a closer look at all of the dust build up inside, even on the screen of my AIO. There's a lot on the bottom and also the fans and the glass has some dust build up here. I don't know if it's that easy to see on camera. And then obviously the radiator. And then looking around back, not too bad on the fans. There is quite a bit though. It's white, so it doesn't show up that much. And then on the exhaust of the power supply. So let's get into cleaning it. First thing I'm gonna use is my air duster, so I'll turn this on. And what I'm gonna do is just generally blow everywhere I can see in the PC, just get all of the dust moving around and just basically release any of the trap dust anywhere in the build. I did mention earlier about moving the PC to a new room and that's because if you blow this dust out, you do not wanna be in the same room that your PC is in as the dust will just get recirculated back in and you'll need to clean it sooner than you would if you move it to a separate room. I don't know if you 
can see on camera, but all the dust is flying up. This is super powerful and you need something like this to effectively clean your piece. You can see on camera all of the dust flying around. There is so much dust trapped. Make sure you're getting all of the areas. So as you can see on camera, I'm trying to do it very thoroughly and get as much as I can get just so I don't have to do it again. You know, the more you do now, the less you're going to have to do it in the future. So just make sure to do a thorough job, get all the parts that you might not see or might miss. So I dusted it for about five minutes and as you can see, literally almost looks brand new. That's why I suggest getting one of those compressed air dusters as they just as to make the job so much easier. That literally took five minutes and my PC is looking brand new again. And also, also don't forget your panels as you do need to clean these too as it will just suck up more dust. And then with this I talked about earlier, I just like to give it a quick rub, get all the extra dust off, make sure it's looking super clean and new again. As you can see. Same also applies for the tempered glass. You wanna just give it a blow with the blower and then get some glass cleaner and clean the glass after. So just make sure to wipe off all the excess dust which the duster did not get off. Just light pressure so you don't make any smudges, just releasing all the dust. Now that's done, you wanna reapply all of your panels and get your PC back to how it was before. And as you can see, the PC is looking super clean. Now it's time to take it back to my desk and plug everything back in and turn it on. Once that's in place, you're gonna to wanna to plug in all your cables that you took out at the start. Don't forget the power switch at the back. Now that everything's plugged in, it's time to turn it on and see your brand new clean PC. And as you can see, super clean, all the surfaces are super shiny. There is no dust to be seen anywhere. And your PC, once again, feels like brand new. And there you guys have it, how to safely clean your PC in 2025, a step-by-step -step video. If you did find it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.